Hi, I'm Bob Postema. Uh, my company is Greater Earth Organics, and I manufacture GOT compost heap brewing machines. Um, one of the key components to the GOT machine is this submerged extractor dome assembly. And what this is, this is the main component where our compost actually goes into. So what we have here is a stainless steel dome uh, that connects to the aeration assembly, which you'll see later. But this uh, stainless steel tube goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag and there's about 16 holes around the bottom of this tube and once this is hooked up to the machine a whole lot of air goes down here um, and this is actually underwater so the water level is uh, is above this so what's happening is a tremendous amount of air is really bubbling inside of this bag and because this is underwater all that air has to go somewhere so it's actually pushing out the side of the tea bag so this is a very um, positive pressurized method of really just agitating those uh, the compost and dislodging the microbes from the compost particles themselves and forcing it out the side of the bag so because of this system we get a tremendous amount of extraction especially of higher level organisms like the fungi and things like that so the full way that this GOT machine works is you saw the extractor dome earlier but there, this tube goes all the way down to the bottom of the tank and there's a long stainless steel bar going all the way across the bottom corner here that has 30 little holes in it. So what that's doing is you get a big curtain of air bubbles coming up which pulls the water with it. So the water in the geotin machine is moving in a very organized fashion. The water is coming up this way across the top, down the side, and across the bottom. And so the water is rolling like this really rapidly. So in effect, what you're doing is you're mimicking a whitewater rapids effect on the surface. You're getting a lot of uh, dissolved oxygen and drained into the water because it's, it's mimicking the wave action of a whitewater river or something like that. So then that's what this tube is for. Then this tube going down here is what's connected to our submerged extractor dome. And so air is blowing down both of those. And so just by running this for an hour or so, we get a very good extraction of organisms out of the compost. If we want to make a uh, actively aerated compost tea, we'll add a food resource in here as well and let it go longer, maybe 24, maybe 36 hours or more, depending on your objective. Soil is the linchpin to life, to civilization, to health. If we want a healthy future, to fight an environmental collapse, to live regeneratively and ethically, and to experience a life of abundance and freedom, we want healthy and abundant soil everywhere. But that means we need to relearn old ways and learn some new ways to build, cycle, and partner with soil and soil life. We can change the world radically, but it's up to us. We have to make those choices. We have to partner with soil and soil life. It takes our participation and support. Will you join us? Regenerative Soil, the full program, we're going to dive deep. We're gonna be looking commercial, we're gonna be looking DIY, we're gonna be going garden, we're gonna be going farm scale. We're gonna cover it all. We wanna serve everyone at all levels and we wanna create that fluency, micro to macro, so that we can spread the regeneration of our soil, our ecosystems, all our systems, all across the world. You can do this. You can regenerate soil because regenerative soil is the linchpin for life. It's the linchpin for all systems, all of our civilization. Everything is running on this. Everything is based on this. Everything is relying upon this. Check out the link down below. Sign up and, and join us in regenerative soil, the full online course. You're not gonna wanna miss it. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively.